Hi, I'm Jim Lowe, and I'm a faculty member here at the University of Illinois College of Veterinary Medicine. This course is really about how do we manage biosecurity. I think it's important you have to understand what biosecurity is. And we define biosecurity as a system of procedural and physical barriers to minimize the risk of novel disease introduction. I emphasize the word system because I really want you to think about how do we build an integrated series of steps that minimize the risk of disease introduction. The trick or the key word in that sentence is minimize, not eliminates. The things we're gonna talk about cost money, but it's really like buying insurance. So I have to think critically about what I'm going to do, what I'm not going to do, and how do I create the greatest impact for the least amount of money? That's the core focus of this course. By training, I'm a veterinarian, and by habit, a pig veterinarian. But I also work in feedlots and do some cow-calf work. So while this text really focuses on swine biosecurity, the principles discussed in this course apply to every livestock system, whether it's pigs or poultry or beef cattle or dairy or aquaculture, the principles are all the same. Unfortunately, biosecurity isn't a recipe list. It isn't just a series of steps. It's about making important, critical decisions about how you're gonna think through these critical problems. To that end, we're presenting this material through an extensive written text that you need to read, understand, and work through. The text describes biosecurity principles, not only what you need to think about, but also how you might think about them. It's really important to remember, it's not a recipe. This text doesn't say, go do this. This text is a, you need to consider this text. At the end of each module, there's a quiz to test your understanding. In order to receive continuing education credit, you'll need to score at least 80% on these quizzes. We hope you enjoy this course as much as we've enjoyed putting it together. Thanks.